brothers and sisters in Christ in the International Ministerial Congress of the Church of God Seventh Day, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The month of November is on us and the theme for the International Ministerial Congress Annual Sabbath and the Congress in session in November in Port Harcourt, Nigeria is equipped for the global mission. Our Lord and Saviour, the head of the church, has equipped and strengthened us to be about his will and his work. And that primarily is through the gifting and the empowering of the Holy Spirit. And today we stand at the threshold of a great harvest. And we are praying for many more labourers to stand in the gap and to be able to serve, providing pastoral care, leadership, encouragement and blessing to our brothers and sisters in Christ around this world in different time zones, in different languages, in different ethnicities and circumstances. But, brothers and sisters, the one Lord, the one faith, the one baptism, and the one Holy Spirit that unites us as one family. The International Ministerial Congress, according to our bylaws, is scheduled to meet every four years. But because of the coronavirus that we had in the last few years, It's been seven years since we've met, and we are very much now looking forward to meeting in Port Harcourt in Nigeria from the 13th to the 18th of November this year. It gives us an opportunity to bring the leadership of the church that has grown up organically around the world together, to worship together, to work together, to share the fellowship, and to do the business of the church, to look at the zone reports of the work around the world, to commission new leadership, and to pass proposals that would enable and equip our church to be the fullest potential in its vibrancy, in the strengths that we have, recognising the inherent weaknesses we have, and to be more effective about his work. The agenda that we have to create a global, a federation of the Churches of God Seventh Day around the world really works to increase and enhance our communication and our collaboration. So I'm looking forward to being with our members around the world. We are, as the International Ministerial Congress, represented by 44 different countries around the world, with about 15 other countries seeking membership, and we are represented in about 100 countries around the world. The International Ministerial Congress grew from its beginnings in 1978, to be able to provide for the leadership of the church around the world an opportunity for fellowship and collaboration and to work for doctrinal unity and integrity. And as in the decades that have followed, we have recognised the need to work also for global evangelism, to share the good news of Jesus Christ in the most effective and most powerful way under the leadership and the counsel and the guidance and the strength of the Holy Spirit. And to that end, we recognize we need to be able to implement and strengthen a theological training program that benefits our pastors around the world. And we see the need for that and are looking for ways to enhance and strengthen our position in continually providing not only training support, but also missionary support. Men and women who have a sense of calledness and being sent into the mission field to share the good news, to minister in people's lives, to share in what we see as essential building blocks of our greater congregations and conferences, are the house church home groups. And through that mechanism, also raise up new leaders. Throughout the International Ministerial Congress, we recognize as the church grows and we increase in numbers and in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Saviour, We also need to be able to provide good governance counsel and guidance in the formation of existing churches to maintain and establish good accountability, transparency, healthy boards and good leadership. This is very, very exciting as we work together collaboratively in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the guidance and the counsel of his Holy Spirit. So I'm asking you, to join now with us in prayer as we gather in November in Nigeria. First of all, to ask God's safety, protection and blessing and favour on all the delegates travelling from around the world. 
We also pray for the pouring out of the Holy Spirit, that every word said, every song sung, every prayer uttered, every message preached, every moment filled with the Holy Spirit, so that this can truly be a a marvellous and mighty milestone in building up the body of Christ. What is it to be equipped for the global mission? What does it take to take the gospel beginning in the Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the world? Coincidentally, the studio from which I'm sharing this message is located in Perth, Western Australia, which is the world's most isolated capital city. It doesn't matter where we are, what circumstances we find ourselves in, We are privileged to be a part of the Church of God's Seventh Day, one body, one Lord, one faith, and great and awesome promises that bring us together. So on behalf of the International Ministerial Congress of the Church of God's Seventh Day, I bring you greetings and blessings from the International Ministerial Congress officers and all those actively involved in bringing us together as a family for the glory of our Heavenly Father. So in the name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, I'm your brother, John Classic. (laughs) 